air fryer crispy grouper fillets. That's what we're making today. Now, you can use any kind of fillet you want. I'm using grouper. But first thing you're going to want to do is get your grouper fillet or whatever fish you like, rinse it, and pat it dry. So we've done that. I'm using Drake's crispy fry mix. It's my favorite. And you're going to use this dry for this recipe. A lot of them where you're going to mix water and then you have a good batter, but this is air fryer and the batter doesn't work so well in the air fryer. So we're going to do it dry and then we're going to cook this for 10 minutes in the air fryer. We're going to grease the bottom of it. And after 10 minutes at 400 degrees, we're going to spray it with olive oil. This is what really moisturizes this and allows it to get crispy. We're going to spray both sides and then cook it for another seven minutes. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our filet, which we've already rinsed and patted dry, and we're basically going to get a nice coating of Drake's Crispy Fry Mix on here. We got it split in a little here. We want to just make sure we got the whole thing covered. All right, nicely done. Get the end a little bit. Let's get this in our air fryer. All right, as I mentioned, we've greased the bottom of this. We're just gonna get our filet in there, put our lid on. Hold on. Okay, and we're using the Instapot air fryer. Our fish is in there. We're gonna click air fry. We're going 10 minutes at 400 degrees and start. All right, so we've had these on 400 degrees for 10 minutes. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use our handy dandy little sprayer. This is a continuous spray. It's a pump. So basically we're gonna just pump this up a little bit and see if we got enough pressure. Oh yeah. So we're gonna spray. And Maybe we don't have enough pressure. But you see how that took all that breading and kind of made it crispy and dissolved it a little bit. Yep, it is. It definitely has to do with the amount of pressure in here. Okay, so we got this side good. Well, I lost a little breading there. We're gonna flip that right over. So we lost a lot of breading that's stuck, but we're still going to do it. And I want to flip it back over so that I don't lose the breading that I had on the other side. We'll just use two hands. All right, 400 degrees for seven more minutes. We'll see how crispy this gets. Okay, so... 10 minutes at 400 degrees, lightly spray both sides of the fish, then back in at 400 degrees for seven more minutes. Now, so total 17 minutes, take a look at that. That looks nice and crispy. I actually can't wait to bite into this. So what I'm gonna do, and if you recall, I did not salt this at the beginning. I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt now. The Drake's mix has a little bit of seasoning, so I don't wanna over salt it just a little bit. Now, you can garnish this with cocktail sauce, tartar sauce, whatever you like on your fish. I'm just gonna eat this, I'm gonna try it the way it is, and then I am going to make up some homemade tartar sauce. I have a great recipe, that's a different video, but I will post the recipe down in the description, so check out the description, but look how nice and crispy that fish looks. and. Look at how nice and juicy it looks too. That's the nice thing about an air fryer. Seals all the juice in. That looks nice and moist right there. So let's try this out. Hmm. Wow. Give me a minute. Let me eat all these crispy. Okay, so that is amazing just with the salt that I added at the end. 
But as I mentioned, I'm gonna make up that tartar sauce and this homemade tartar sauce recipe is absolutely the bomb. So check it out, try it. Let me know how yours turns out if you make it. But do me a favor, click that thumbs up, like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click that notification bell. You'll get notifications when I post new videos. I appreciate you stopping, supporting my channel. We'll see you next time.